Today, Carolyn actually um, uh, contacted me and said two things actually, it was quite interesting. She said she's very much a recipe person and she likes to know a little bit of this and a little bit of that, cook it at this exact temperature for this exact amount of time. And she says, I'm a bit more of a, yeah, a bit of this and a bit of that. And, you know, just open the oven and see if it's cooked kind of um, thing. So she said, could I try and be a bit more uh, like a recipe person for her? Um, which I'll try and do. It's it's very hot here. I don't know about you. Um, we're having a bit of a heat wave and my studio <laughs> gets very, very hot. I put a, a thing I spent last night working out. I got a, made a kind of a sunshade outside the window so the heat isn't coming in quite so much. But I've got the door open and I've got a fan in the door trying to blow some cool air in. Um, so I hope that's not making too much noise. Um, and Carolyn, um, she asked me, could I talk about perspective from a bird's eye point of view? And I thought, yes, I certainly can. But I think I need to just go back and cover a, a few earlier things, bring us up to date so that then we can kind of do this perspective thing and kind of sort of move up and look down. So that's what we're going to do today. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so, um, what we are going to do is, let's go back and talk about perspective. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use some straight lines. I'm going to use a ruler a bit more today. Um, so this is going to be the horizon line. And um, let's draw some lines radiating out from it like we did before and we can we're kind of looking down already in a um, in a bird's eye point of view so we could kind of draw something across there like that this is one point perspective okay one point I'm just going to check actually that all the sound is working I think it is and you're seeing me aren't you <laughs> that's good <laughs> and um, so we would draw verticals up like that uh, we would want a line going back there and this line is going straight back there. So that vertical will go across to there and then we can draw another line across there and that would be a kind of a box sitting on the, just there really. And we can, let's do another one over here with a bit more of an angle. Um, we can do something like that. That will be going up and up and up and up. So we could draw another point there. Um, so that we can draw along like that, connect all these lines up. <clears throat> connect all these lines will be going to this vanishing point. Vanishing point or the VP. Um, and so we can then, you know, draw a box. It doesn't have to be a box. It can be anything, of course. And you know, you can kind of work it out in boxes, but um, it's a bit like, you know, the Eskimos say, we don't say Eskimo, we say yeah, Inuit, no, um, sorry. <laughs> and, um, and they say that, you know, in a, a, a walrus tusk, there is a carving in there waiting to be revealed. Uh, and so inside every single box, there is something waiting to be revealed. So there could be, um, let's say there, something like uh, um, we're going to have some kind of a sports car or something like that is, is, is sort of hiding inside that box waiting to be revealed and you can use these kind of simple um, simple boxes to kind of build up the basic shapes to work out how the perspective is going to work uh, for things and you know a car is basically a box so let me draw it from the side let me draw it from the side there a car is basically a box um, and we'll want that to be kind of like that we'll have the wheels about there and uh, the wheel arches and we'll have uh, <laughs> something sort of coming back like that and it's all you know, it, it will fit inside this box quite nicely. Uh, and, you know, as if you were a sculptor, then you'd, ch 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 you'd chop away everything that was there. And so 
by fitting boxes into a perspective kind of um, terrain, a kind of a landscape, um, then, then you can kind of work out how your car is going to look in that particular kind of perspective. But this is pretty boring kind of perspective, really. Uh, what you could do is take your vanishing point a bit higher. So let's take the vanishing point up here and see what happens. Um, and we could you know, bring our box here like that. And that's going to go back a bit. And so now we are getting a, a bit more of a bird's eye kind of point of view. But what would happen if we say, let's build one box huh, on the ground there, which is going to go up. If it goes up and 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 up, <laughs> then, then we're still governed by this vanishing point. So we'll be, um, that will actually be at, that, at the vanishing point there. And that will go up and across and down. And so we're not really getting a bird's eye view. We're getting a bird's eye view of this one, but we're kind of getting a, a straight on view of this one. Um, so it's it's not getting to quite that bird's eye view that I think uh, Carolyn is really after. So um, we need to start thinking about two point perspective. So uh, what's that all about? <laughs> so let's draw another uh, horizon line. So with two points, rather than sort of going into this vanishing point in the distance, we'll choose two vanishing points and then we can draw these radiating lines from there coming all the way <laughs> like this part of me thinks oh you know i should have drawn all these lines for you earlier but because it's boring watching them being drawn but it, it's not quite the same if you don't see them being drawn you need to kind of see it actually happen to that proves oh that wasn't quite on the point um you know it proves that there's no trickery going on here. So let's let's take this square, for instance, there. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go a bit more. I, I'm gonna add some extra lines in. I'm gonna put an extra one in about there, um, and probably about there, I think. So let's say work on this square. Well, it's not a square. It's not oblong, isn't it? Really. And uh, we're still going to be working on vertical lines. So I'm going to draw vertical lines up there and vertical lines up there and vertical lines there. We're still governed by these two vanishing points. So we can draw a line up there and a line up there. And now you can begin to see um, this could be you know, a, you know, a skyscraper on the corner of a street. Um, but again, we're kind of looking straight into it, whereas we want to be looking down. <laughs> so we need to drop this further down. And let's take that right down there. And this is going to be coming right down here. This is coming. R oh, no, we, let, uh, use the ruler and then you'll be accurate. <laughs> uh, there like that and then we can draw those lines make them a bit more definite and and then to be able to be give it that bird's eye view we have to come down below the horizon line so if we then draw there and there and then we're going to want to draw about there And there, now we are up above and looking down. Now this is a very strange, <laughs> distorted kind of perspective. So we could uh, we could think about this is the side of the road, and this is what we would call. <laughs> hang on, we would call this the pavement. <laughs> you may call it a sidewalk. And we can sort of put sort of paving down the side like that. 
and you might want sort of another building alongside there and then that'll be another vertical and we'll still use that vanishing point over there and we might not want it to be quite that wide but here we'd have another building and you can also then start using your perspective lines you can kind of build a little cylinder there and you can have little if this is new york they all have those kind of water tower things on the top of the buildings don't they it's something i find those very romantic somehow <laughs> they, they, they kind of look like they've been there since the 1920s and nobody's bothered to update them which is probably <laughs> what it is um and we can then use these lines to sort of create build you know sort of the the, the windows and the the stories the floors on each um each of the floors for this building and it kind of works but i think it just looks a little bit extreme um and you're getting a kind of it's not actually isometric but you're getting a kind of a isometric effect so isometrics is a kind of a way of drawing three dimensionally without perspective which just kind of kind of looks cool it's kind of like you you know the old um arcade games were very isometric and we could you know maybe have windows like that just to give us this sort of feel for it being a building and again along here we can have you know maybe a big store entrance kind of thing going on in there like that and if the sun is up here then this will all be in shadow on this side like that and we will have shadow on the pavement as well sorry sidewalk <laughs> as well uh, so there'll be eraser <laughs> there won't be shadow there because it'll be because the shadow will be coming from that side of the building assuming there's nothing on that side um, so this is this looks so extreme down here very very extreme so what we need to do is to move over to three uh, this is let's say this is two point perspective and i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to um scan all these things afterwards and i'm going to put it up on um patreon and today i'll put it up for free but i think what i will do is sort of scan some things from live shows i'll i'll make those a patreon kind of things patreon slash shoe rainer the links are down below okay so I'm going to come and see if you've got any comments about all this and see, see what we are doing. Um, Clay, hey, hey, Clay, Clay and I have just been emailing uh, <laughs> on Patreon. We've been chatting on Patreon. Um, Jesse Tolling, I felt like I know all of you from the other live streams. Well, we meet again as you read this live stream. That's the thing about live stream, isn't it? Um, so Grace says, wow, that looks very complicated. Is anyone following along with his drawing? There is about a 10 second delay. So I'm just gonna, um, just gonna wait and see if you have got any comments and if you are really, really confused before I move on let me know and as i said there's about a 10 second delay in, in in from from where i am to what you see so with your chat so uh i can actually yeah so jesse says this is so cool i'm only in third grade <laughs> i've seen anything like this <laughs> uh right okay um if you're in third grade jesse you shouldn't tell people like that okay don't tell anybody that you are in school okay if you are in school and you are watching Oh, if, in fact, if you are under 13 and you are watching, I'm assuming you have parental <laughs> approval. <laughs> Your parents might well be with you. So please don't um, comment and say that you are under 13 if you are. Um, okay, those are just kind of general internet safety rules. Uh, Jessica says, I'll be trying to draw this later. I think, do you know, I think I can, yeah, look, I can do, how cool is that? 
um, I can get these things up there like that and Carolyn says there we are can I swap that over yes so far I am with you thank heavens for that <laughs> good okay then I will get back to the next phase and I'm going to press this button and uh, we are now going to move on to three point perspective okay so this is serious um, I've got my little crib sheets here I've been working on <clears throat> I've been practicing Carolyn so that there was a kind of a recipe going on. <laughs> so it's a little bit of little bit of this, little bit of that, a little bit of salt and stuff like that. But I have actually been thinking about this. So I kind of worked it out a bit. So let's again. I, I think yeah, let's have the horizon like that. And I'm going to take two points, and again, I will draw some lines. There we go. I hope everybody is doing all right while I'm doing this. Uh, if you're watching this, I keep saying this at the moment, if you're watching this in sort of 100 years time in sort of or 2030 or something like that, uh, which is quite possible. Um, we, we are all in lockdown at the moment. Well, we're not all. Some are coming out of lockdown. This is the being the period of coronavirus uh, lockdown. Carolyn is in Germany, so I think you've been kind of easing up quite a lot. I've been noticing a lot more traffic coming down our road today, a lot more trucks. So things are happening, but at the same time, you know, some people are, I think, ah, oh, no, that's a bit, I just get that, that's a bit too much light on there. There we go. Um, in here, you know, job losses and all sorts of things. So it's, it's, it's not good times, um, but, Hopefully I'm making this a bit more bearable for you. Now, what we want to do is add another vanishing point, okay? And I'm gonna draw some lines. Oh, <laughs> my glasses. <laughs> I'm gonna draw some lines coming up this way. And like that. Oh, the one thing I must say is that we have been experiencing glorious weather since the coronavirus struck. I think we've only had two or three spattered days of rain or something. Otherwise it's, oh, I'm just doing my pencil sharpener. Um, otherwise we've had just beautiful sunshine and beautiful growing weather and we've all had hours to spend in our gardens weeding and things. So, um, yeah it's been um it's been good for that so anyway let's let's start let's take this here let's take this point here and let's build another skyscraper on the corner of the block and uh, so i'm gonna put yeah about there it kind of feels really feels like this is going to be really really uh what's the word dramatic so what we could do then so this is going to be this is going to be our side wall this is much more dramatic isn't it i think you're going to find and when it comes to you know illustration and stuff like that a lot of the time it's drama is what you want so that's going to be going straight up there what we could do is take lines going up like that and lines going up like that and now you can see you know this is this <laughs> hopefully you can see this skyscraper zooming up but it's still a little bit doesn't quite feel right and we want to be looking down on it so really let's well let's just follow these lines here shall we let's put that in there and put that there we're just going to take it down a few stories and we'll take that to there and then we're going to want to take that to there and now i think you will agree which one did i which one am i just be like it's this one here wasn't it it, it it just feels awkward all this 
going down here just doesn't look right and I think you can feel this is just looks much more natural even though it's as really as it would be filmed from a you know a, a fisheye lens camera which is kind of slightly distorting it but we've seen so many um, photographs over the years um, that have been taken by fisheye cameras and wide angle cameras that we're kind of used to seeing those kind of points of view which we don't actually see with our eyes so again let's draw some um, flaws in here just to sort of get that feeling of it being a, a building and and I think you know when uh, you know whenever you get a perspective kind of lesson it, it quite often <laughs> ends up with you know railway tracks and roads and buildings and city landscapes because it, 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 they just sort of fit very nicely um, and you can draw it all with a ruler and do interesting things with it I'll just get one more down there and I should kind of point out as well that as you're going down the building it's going further away so these should get closer together so you're helping visually with sort of that perspective and adding the depth to the whole thing and we can put that there and we can put that there and that one there and do um you know <laughs> if you if you are getting really stuck um do please uh, if you're watching live you know do feel free to comment and ask questions that's what i'm here for and if you're watching um on catch up if it's all a bit too confusing then don't forget you can if you're on the computer you can press the space bar if you're on a tablet just tap the screen and you can stop and you can replay at any time you like and go back and <laughs> check things out now I'm just gonna do every other floor like that and I'm just gonna come in a little bit uh, so we kind of got overhangs which just makes it a bit more interesting again just to show kind of things that you can do um, which means then that if I go yeah that's that one there and again we want to be nestled up against this vanishing point uh, which is sort of down in the subway somewhere so that we can what we could do then is we could have these kind of th thicknesses to the to each floor going on there and, and again you know you are following these vanishing points and that then we'll want to clip around the corner like that so, so that's there and then we can have the windows in there like that it just makes it a bit more of an interesting building doing it like that and if you know if you want to <laughs> really get into this kind of thing go and find some uh, pictures of buildings and kind of think how can I how can I draw that building worked out in this sort of format of perspective and again if we have the sun shining over there then this side here will be darker and we'll probably have a bit of shadow that's been sort of coming out something like that and from a bird's eye point of view dun, dun, uh, 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 uh. happy bird uh, like that oh, and little legs he's a happy little bird um, so from a bird's eye point of view <laughs> this looks much more realistic and our eyes will go yes I can accept that that, I can accept that. Whereas this, although in fact, let's let's get a let's get a little piece of paper. There's a bit of cardboard to hand here. Let's have a look at that width there. That is that is one width, and if you come to the bottom, you can see it's the same width, and yet it kind of looks like it's getting wider at the base, um, which is a a visual you know trick. Um, 
which you don't really want because it won't be getting wider at the base because it's further away and things that are further away are smaller and so by doing this three point perspective three point perspective then we get this far more natural kind of look okay i'm gonna go over and see if you got any comments and as i say there's like a 10 second delay so i'll come and see what um what we've got um <laughs> So, uh, Judy says, <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this in 20 years time on Mars, um, go and have a look at a young friend of mine's um, channel, Helen's Astrophotography. <laughs> I'll, I'll go put a link in down below. Actually, let me go put that in. Uh, I can do something. How do, oh, hang on a minute. How do I do that? No, I don't want that. No, there we go. Um, I can put a little thing on here <laughs> text that's what we want uh, Helena's astrophotography okay go and have a look at <laughs> that should all be one word um, Eleanor's astrophotography I think it, yeah I'm pretty sure that's it uh, if you go and have a look at Eleanor's astrophotography channel <laughs> she, she she was on the front page of the scotsman which is she, she lives in scotland and uh, she's the daughter of a friend of mine and she has her own um telescope observatory in the back garden and she sort of takes photographs of galaxies and stuff like that she's very enterprising and um so she was on the front page of the scotsman which is like the, the main newspaper. Is this the first Scottish woman on Mars? <laughs> she was all dressed up in an astronaut suit and stuff. And uh, so you never know. Uh, Helena might be uh, watching us <laughs> in 20 years time on some dodgy uh, intergalactic Wi-Fi link, <laughs> checking up on old YouTube things. So anyway, there you are. Um, what happened there? Right. Um, now let's have a look at your questions. Um, have you got? Oh, have you got any questions? Oh, no, we don't want to. Don't want to be hearing that. I can hear myself talking. I don't want that. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. Hang on. <laughs> that don't ever do live stuff. It's crazy. Um, right. Grace says, I'm in the UK and we're still stuck at home, but it's not too bad. Yeah. So Jessica Taylor, which is your favourite perspective to draw in? Um, and I'll just point out that Judy says, Helen's channel is, br channel is brilliant. Great. <laughs> She's a very enterprising young lady. Uh, needs all the support she can get. So, um, Jessica, which is your favourite perspective to draw in? Well, I think... <sighs> I think really three point, but I don't really think about it because I kind of got it sorted in my head. And I think you have to go through these exercises. You know, I keep saying practice, practice, practice. It's true. And I'm, I'm actually listening to a really interesting program at the moment, an uh, um, audio book about sleep. And there's an audio scientist. What's his name? Oh, I could find it. Oh, I can't find it. <laughs> my phone has disappeared. Um, and and he says it's actually it's practice practice and sleep and and i noticed that myself at times let me see if i can find what it says i borrowed it from the library which is really good um uh why we sleep by matthew walker and um and i've noticed that myself sometimes particularly doing drawing videos and if i practice practice the drawing i'm going to do the night before I practice two or three times watching them while the TV's on or something like that. When I come to do the video the next day, it goes through so much smoothly, right? Because I practice. And I could practice in the morning, but it's just not the same somehow. So practice and sleep, because it somehow sort of locks locks in your practice. And and when you're doing perspective, it's, it's like piano exercises, <laughs> violin, like the dance, all sorts of things like that. Uh, if you do the exercises and you kind of get your ruler out and you do all that kind of stuff 
then after a while it's and it's like riding a bike it's suddenly you go ah i get it and you don't and it's suddenly fine you don't need the rulers anymore and you just kind of will do it instinctively but you have to do it a few times to really get it locked inside your head and but even still sometimes you might find you you end up doing a really bizarre form of perspective uh, which might be really really good you know a really bizarre angle but then you might think that's not right you have to maybe go and actually get the rulers out and work it out uh, to, to make it look right and also i think if you are doing cityscapes um aerial view cityscapes and things then then yeah it's really really good <laughs> to get the rulers out and actually work it out you can draw wobbly lines on the top um but getting that structure in there then the eye just accepts it and goes that's right okay um uh jesse chillon says i'm back good there we go uh, <laughs> so let's take this all a bit further <laughs> right so that was three point perspective now what we can do is this is all quite tight. This is all quite squashed in. So what I could do is tape this piece of paper down. If I can find my tape. See, I've tidied everything up for the <laughs> Ah! Somewhere I have got some tape. Where has that gone? Um let me find some any old tape. I've got some. I've got some gaffer tape here. I'll use that instead. <laughs> oh. Just to tape it down like that. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit as well. Uh, yeah. Good. And I'm going to draw a really big horizon. Mm, mm, all the way and I'm going to have my vanishing points over there and <laughs> I'll have my <laughs> off the screen it's down here somewhere okay right uh, so now I'm going to draw these lines I don't need to draw them all the way to the vanishing point I can just sort of draw them in the area where I want them and I think maybe I'll have sort of more down here like that because um, I'm, I'm not quite so I'm you know sorry Carolyn this is <laughs> this is this is um, you know a pinch of this and a pinch of that so I'm kind of making this up as I'm going along but uh, hopefully it will look like a recipe when I've finished <laughs> um, and and I think that's kind of one of the things with perspective is that you you, you can play with it and it is elastic and there are no definite rules like you must have the vanishing point here you must have the horizon there it's elastic and you can move it all around to gain get different effects and I think the more you play with it, the more you understand, you know, what what you can do with it, and um, the more realistic it probably becomes. So let's say this is—is is that still on screen? Yeah. So let's do it. A nice little box. Here. So this is the ground floor plan of a building, and I'm going to take my vanishing point right down here off the screen oh that's actually I yeah well I, I thought it was going to be vertical but it's not so it's, it's actually going to be slightly distorted because that's not vertical um, and then we could yeah let's say we'll have this as the top of the building and that is the top and take that to there and join them up then we can come all the way down to there and all the way down to there 
and then that's the front of the building there. And and if we get the previous one, um, <laughs> all sorts of things going on here. If we get the previous one here and then sort of put that alongside, you can see this is much more dramatic coming down to a tiny little point. And this is, this is much more a human kind of um, perspective sort of going down to the street level there. Now this doesn't have to be a building. Um, like I said at the beginning, um, you, know, it's, it's, you can think of it as a block of granite and that you're a, a sculptor and you can chisel away um, to do what you like. Um, and so within this, this is kind of a box. Think of this as a box. So you could have a head in there and shoulders. And let's say we've got a plinth down at the bottom here. That's going to be something like that. So it's kind of a statue, uh, which is going to be, so that be something like that. Um, and can have hands and sort of legs and feet. So you can kind of work out these kind of things, <laughs> more, far more complicated things than, a, a, you know, a simple, well not, you know, you know, New York building isn't that simple, but you know, it, 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 it's nice sort of straight lines, you know, that makes it simple. So, um, you know, I'm trying to, it's not the most elegant outfit, is it? But <laughs> so um, let's have some kind of hair. It's, it's a Lego person, a Playmobil person, isn't it really? It's, it's a gigantic, Playmobil person <laughs> in the middle of a square or something like that. Um, yeah, let's have it in the middle of a square. So we could have a path going all the way around it like that. And then there'd be a path going up then to, there'd be a, a gate which would be connected up here, won't it? So we still have to work to those that perspective so the so, so this is the park gate and this is how we kind of start to sort of build scenes uh, this is a very strange perspective that i've done because i i didn't start with a vertical so i, I sort of started with a strange angle anyway um so that's sort of going that way and that way and we can have say this is the park so we've got it surrounded with sort of shrubs, a hedge going all the way around it like that. And uh, that will come to like that. And maybe a bit of path going off that way as well. This will be grass. Um, and we can have a tree sticking out from there as well. And then in the distance, this can be the road outside, like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember all these different vanishing points. So that will be the road heading off up there, but that doesn't quite feel right. No, we want the road heading off up there. That's right. You have, when you've got three points, you have to remember which point you're, you're working with. But then that then becomes another building and this starts to be you know, a really weird kind of perspective thing going on again so let's keep taking that there so we've got a building on the on the corner and this is a really is quite fisheye lens view and I wasn't quite sure what <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna look quite like this but um, so let's say that we've got, um, yeah, let's take some building up to there. But then if we come to here, then you can make it all sort of more obvious. 
um, and we can come there like that. We want that to be the same height as that because they'll be built on the same level. That will then come to there and there and that will be the same there. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really wide there for some reason. Um, and we want, let's say, something like that going on there. And that going on there. And well, what do you know? What we could do is turn it into a castle, couldn't we? Like that. Um, and this is, you know, the king standing outside his castle. <laughs> the, the, it's not the king, it's a statue of the king standing outside the castle and then because you've got the aerial view and you're looking down then you're, you're looking down on the top of the castle and we've got the, you know, the crenellations, castellations we did a thing about castles a while back, didn't we? <laughs> so, and there, and you've got the portcullis and things in there and, you know, little windows stuff like that, and so we're building up a scene and that is kind of how you build up a scene with perspective and you might you might want to bring these two wide <laughs> things a bit closer and have this one all the way down because just try it try different try different variations and see what happens I'm gonna come back and see if you've got anything to say about it. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's have a look. Uh, Carolyn, wasn't it in the morning after a good night's sleep when you got some inspiration about your new Walker book? Exactly, it was. Uh, and I thought about that. Yes, Carolyn says, wasn't it in the morning after a good night's sleep? I got some inspiration about your new Walker book. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of just about to start writing uh, my new book, um, which is the follow on from Walker, the boy who can talk to dogs. This will be Walker. I'm not quite sure about the title now. And uh, and there's a, there's a thing. It was um, Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, he had this thing. He called it the MacGuffin. It's the the, the the little secret that you know that the story you know, it's a mystery. And this is a mystery. So the little thing that the story twists on. And uh, so I thought I got a really good idea then. And uh, and suddenly came to me. Oh. Oh, an even better idea. And, and yes, I kind of was lying in bed, just waking up and thinking, oh, so I really ought to start making notes and plans and things. And then, dying, <laughs> leapt out of bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, that kind of explains it from my point of view. Are there any questions you want to be asking? Judy says, let me click that. Oh. Uh, I'm writing an illustrated story of how my tiny garden developed over my it's one not our patron and all of this is hugely useful and I'm not quite getting the perspectives right thanks no problem at all I will show you another little trick um, so <coughs> another piece of paper I'm gonna zoom in a bit now no zoom in so uh, I did a video about this a while back but it's sort of similar kind of thing so if you've got a little garden this is the this is the ultimate bird's eye view is from right above and you can say oh there's a round pond in the corner with a little fountain um, and we got three pots a big one and a little one over in the corner there and oh, a, a square planter there and then we've got some um, a little path made out of crazy paving or something like that there and that is our aerial view plan so that you if you draw that so then it's easy <laughs> you draw this in perspective so Because I've done this before, I'm just going to draw that line again. Oh, oh. Be because I've done this before, I can think, yeah, I'll just 
draw like that. So that's the base plan in perspective. But in fact, you know, if you look at it, what's going on is that's heading off to a vanishing point there. This is heading off to a vanishing point. It is getting narrower, but it's a long, long way away. So this is quite close and that one is quite far away. Um, and I think I'm going to have this going but this is going to be a vanishing point about sort of two or three meters <laughs> in this direction <laughs> okay so um let's sort of let's think there's uh, let's have a little wall around it as well like that so we'll have a little wall around the whole thing um with no we'll have the walls about there okay so that we can come in on the path there and we can build the wall around whole thing like that and down and down like that so we've got an enclosure now inside a little wall down here I know because let's sort of quarter it that's even eighth uh, eight, eighth it, no that's yeah eighth it or whatever uh, sixteenth it so we can do a sort of a floor plan like that that's sort of pretty much in this area here it's not going to be a circle it's going to be an ellipse which we could then bring up like that so we can have a little pond with the uh, fountain playing there over in the corner here we got um, we got a largish pot and again this will be an ellipse and a smaller pot so this small pot will be in the foreground, that larger pot will be about there, and the larger pot will be in the background, and that will have things growing out of it. And then here, uh, we've got a kind of a, a box planter, like that. That's in there. And then we've got like no sweet corn or something growing in there. And here um, we've got these, you know, it, you could work it out exactly. I'm just going to sort of pretend that I'm <laughs> copying what was there. So that's your sort of path going in there. And you can maybe have this as all gravel or something like that. And, you know, this is your little garden. And that's um, using perspective using cross pattern things like that with, with a, a floor plan to work out how the whole thing is going to fit and you're going to have some sort of shadow down here shadow there and shadow and stuff like that there I zoom in a bit more <laughs> so come back there <laughs> let me see um it's easy says the pro <laughs> um uh <laughs> yeah but it's been practicing for years exactly gross exactly uh judy says can you do a sort of straight line s-shaped garden well, only kidding the squares will help thanks <laughs> so there we go. Has anybody got any final questions or things that they would like to say? Because uh, don't forget this 10 second delay. So I'll just keep talking until something pops up on the screen. <laughs> uh, what else has been going on? What else has been going on? I have finished my fourth illustrated book this year and been doing corrections today. Thank heavens to Photoshop, uh, which is um, brilliant so I get an email saying could you sort of remove something on page 12 <laughs> send it straight back Judy says only kidding squares will help thanks and uh, those two are exactly what I've done so far but I didn't think to square off the plan yeah and it's the the floor plan <laughs> the floor plan is exactly the same as the uh, as the perspective plan and it's, it's exactly the same picture that you're trying to create, but one is just an absolute vertical aerial view uh, and a bird's eye view you really want from an angle, don't you? 
So there we go. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, everybody. Carolyn says this was very helpful. Thank you, Shin. Danke, Shin. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go and get my son's uh, <laughs> supper organised. He he's he's uh, he's doing a, a thing night shift at Amazon, so he's making sure that people are getting their orders out on time. And um, yeah, so I need to get him sorted out. Thank you very much for watching and all that kind of stuff. And I don't have to say goodbye. All I have to do is to press this button. I'll see you next time. Well, thank you so much for watching and make sure you click that little subscribe button. And when you do, ring the bell so that you get notifications of when I am going to go live next. You can come along and join in and bring your ideas as well. In the meantime, stay safe, keep well, and keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.